Hi, this is Dan from Userspice.com, and I wanted to do a two or three part video series about the form manager. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, this form manager was just something that I created on an airplane, so I didn't actually have internet access. Uh, I just wanted to kind of challenge myself to see if I could build a feature this complicated on the way from Africa or Europe back to Florida or Alaska, actually. I think I was in Alaska. Um, so it's not perfect and it is not a replacement for just being able to write HTML and PHP and Ajax forms, uh, but it does make some things easier. And so if you go in here to tools and to form builder, you can create a form and uh, I'm just gonna call it demo form. Yep, demo form. So now I've created a form, and just to kind of give you an idea of what happens, uh, when I come in here to the database, if I refresh this, I now have this thing called demo form form, which is the actual form itself, and then I have another table called demo form. Let's see here. I have another table called demo form, which is the information that is stored in that table. So in other words, you can use this form builder to get data into the database and then never use the form builder to do some of the advanced stuff you can just do the rest of it in PHP and one other thing happens is if you come in here to US forms I now have a form with an ID called demo form so um, anyway let's take a look here so we're just gonna make this super simple I'm not gonna go through every option I feel like you guys can can kind of figure that out but if you look here there's different form types uh, or different field types you can store text or whole numbers or you know it can be a hidden one which hidden ones can come in handy in fact maybe we'll do that um, let's do two inputs now, I haven't thought this out we're just kind of playing with it together so let's do one and we're going to call it a uh, user let's call it username and then we'll say user name and I'm just kind of spreading this out because the idea is that there's two labels there's one for when you're doing forms and you usually have a lot of room to display it and then tables you often don't have as much room for your labels so um, I'm just gonna go username just to be different and I'm gonna make it required and I'm gonna give it a class of form control these you can put any CSS class you want you can also um, put something in here like uh, you can use like uh, Ajax or a jQuery or JavaScript data attributes. So I could put data hyphen name equals Bob in here. I could put whatever I wanted in there if I needed to use this later for some kind of jQuery thing. But I'm not going to do that. And then order is just a quick way to reorder the forms if you want to, the form items if you want to do it later. So anyway, I'm going to do that. And I've created one. And you'll see immediately down here you get a preview that shows you what that looks like username you should get the star showing you it's required and then over here you get um, you get this idea of like the basic raw information about the form and by default there's no validation but if you wanted to you could actually edit this one and choose a validation option and so um, the validation option could be minimum so I could say minimum three characters or something like that and uh, let's see here and then we'll refresh the page and now you'll see that there's validation going on here uh, so anyway we'll come back to our form thing and we'll edit the form and we're gonna do one more we're gonna do a hidden one and I'll show you why but we're gonna do a hidden one and we're gonna call it uh, user ID and then you're never gonna see this but we're just gonna do it anyway user ID and user ID just for the heck of it required no because it's hidden so they can't enter it and so we're going to create so now what we have is this hidden form thing here there is a, a user id thing down here that you can't see um, it's kind of shown over here so from this point there's a few things you can do uh, let's just say that you want to create a new form you could do that over here you could duplicate an existing one you can create a form from the database table and this is kind of cool so let's say uh, let's see here let's come to the database and let's look at this table called crons okay so just for the heck of it um, we see that there's this auto backup feature and sort and just all this random stuff let's say that you wanted to make your own form to insert cron jobs into the crons table so what you can do 
is you can come here to this thing and um, create a form from the database. And then I'm going to pick this one called crons and hit create form. And so this form was automatically created. Your labels are created from database column name. So if you look in here, I have all these columns. Notice I don't have ID, but I have active sort name file created by, which are the exact same things that were here. And uh, that's pretty sweet. So now like I could actually insert rows into the database with this form. And we're gonna show you a little bit more how to do that. But um, I think that's a pretty sweet feature. Uh, and then in fact, like if I wanted to copy the crons one, I could copy the crons one and call it uh, crons deluxe like that or whatever and duplicate that form. And now I have another one, which I might, oh, sorry, I can always, oh, I, I made a mistake. I did not follow my own directions and I put a symbol in there. So let's do this, uh, cron, let's come back up here. And the reason why, just to let you know, it's real picky about names because you're creating database tables and all that kind of stuff like this. So you don't want crazy characters in there. So I just blocked all characters and I'm just going to call it Crohn's Deluxe like that. And now I'll duplicate the form and you'll see that I have a Crohn's Deluxe form. So if I come to my home, I have one more of these. So you can come in here, you can edit it and I can say, well, I don't want any kind of... Uh, Let's see, I don't want to be able to mark if they're active or not. I mean, I know that's kind of stupid, but anyway, that's that's what the copying one does. Um, now here's, we'll get into views and all that stuff later. You can delete a form, you get some help with forms. But that's the basics of how, um, of how the form manager works to create things. So let's come in here. And what you'll see now is you will see that there is a basic display form. Um, there's a short code that gives that to you already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my code editor and I'm going to come over here to, to go to htdocs4405. Okay, so I'm going to open this up in Atom. And now I'm on my index page and I still have my jQuery stuff in here from before. So I'm going to delete all this. And then what I'm going to do is I also figured out that this is a uh, bootstrap. If you watched my Ajax video, you'll notice I was confused why my columns didn't work, but I am using an, a, uh, a bootstrap three, um, a bootstrap three form, which is why, uh, or bootstrap three template, which is why that didn't work. So if you're, if you follow all my videos and you're wondering why my columns were messed up on the last one, that would explain it. So I'm going to get rid of this table and Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this thing here and I am going to, that's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to go to display form, demo form, and then I'm going to put that right here. And so you'll see when I come to the page and I, I am having all kinds of problems on this monitor doing that. So if I come to the home page, I have this thing and I can do Dan and it's not going to process the form, but I can, uh, I can go in there and just the form just shows up on the left side and all it took for me to do that was to do display form and the name of the form so what we're going to do now is we're going to read the manual and so we're going to go to userspice.com and we're going to go to the documentation section and we're going to go to the form manager and so what you'll see here is that creating a form we got that part down no problem so now we know how to edit it, we know how to display it, but now we want to process it. <clears throat> so what happens, uh, it's very clear here that we do not want to put this code snippet below our form. We want to put it above our form. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to come back in here to my code editor and I'm going to put it down here, just somewhere below the header, but above the form. And I'm going to go, if not empty post, process form. And so this is the most basic form of form processing you can get. I get it, form of form processing. So when I save that and I come back here to my code, it's going to drive me insane. Uh, and I refresh the page. Now all of a sudden I have, we're going to just refresh that. Okay, now all of a sudden, and it may have actually put that in the database. Let's check here. Uh, so we are on demo form. Let's see. Uh, demo form. Nope. Okay. So there's no data in the database right now. 
and we're going to just put Dan right now. So if I submit, then everything should be good there. Let's check. Yep. So it inserted a row in the database. We're not doing anything to clear uh, clear the page. We could do something like, let's see, if uh, process form, and then we could do redirect to index.php error equals success. And what that will do is that will clear out the form information. So, and there's a lot of different ways we could do that, but we're going to do it this way. So if we come over here and let's see here, what am I doing? I'm on a different uh, demo. So I come here to this one. I have clicked around like a madman. <clears throat> so I'm going to go Joe. And now you'll see that when I do it, it shows success in there. And there could be two in here, but yep, no, nope, Dan and Joe. So that is the most basic form processing. I will show you one more thing in this video before we get to more advanced stuff. But um, so if we come back to the form manager here and we go to what language am I in? Uh, somehow I have it in another language. That's amazing. Um, so if I come over here and I um, go to the form manager, form builder, uh, I can see, we'll get into form views later, but I can see something, let's see, there should be a table. Okay, that's actually probably in the documentation, so displaying forms, I think that's going to be on advanced. Um, so yeah, we'll go over to the next thing, advanced features, and let's see here if it says anything about table. Displaying tables, okay. So what I can do in this documentation, I got to fix that, that's putting those curly cues in there. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to come to our thing and we have this one column over here which is display the demo form and then on the second one we're going to go and then we're going to do this and we have to get rid of that, I don't I hate WordPress, no offense WordPress, but I hate you. So there's that, so now we can display Thing with demo form and this is going to be our last demo on this video but if you come here and minimize this and come back here and refresh the page you'll see that we're actually showing our information over here so if I put Kim then all of a sudden she comes in there and that's it so we are going to stop right there and I'll do another video with some more advanced features